Hello, in this video, I would talk about the M phase cyclins and how they regulate cell cycle progression. The key M phase cyclin is cyclin B and its partner CDK1. Together, cyclin B and its partner CDK1, this complex is known as maturation promotion promoting factor. And this cyclin B and CDK1 is a part of spindle assembly checkpoint. In this video, we would also look at how cyclin B and CDK1 helps in spin, uh, works as a spindle assembly checkpoint and ensures that equal segregation of the genetic material happens between the daughter cells. Now, first question we should ask is when cyclin B CDK1 is activated. Cyclin B and CDK1 is mostly active during M phase and at the late G2 phase, cyclin B is activated. Cyclin B is activated and coming up. Now. First of all, how cyclin B is activated, that's the question. So cyclin B in an inactive state has two type of modification. One is the activatory phosphorylation in threonine-161 residue. And another, there are two inhibitory phosphorylation at threonine-14 and tyrosine-15 residues. Now, at the end of G2 and the beginning of the M phase, there are phosphatases known as CDC25 phosphatase which can cleave off this inhibitory phosphorylation from the cyclin B and CDK1. As a result, now the only activatory phosphorylation remains and the compound, the, the complex is activated. So now active MPF can serve its function and can phosphorylate several down, downstream target and we would look at that. Then we should ask that when the cyclin B is degraded and how cyclin B CDK activity is restricted to the M phase. Now, once M phase is over, that means the cell is going next G1 phase, then cyclin B need to be degraded. Otherwise, the cell would always try to do stuff which is necessary for M phase. So cyclin B need to be degraded and it turns out that cyclin B is degraded in the early G1 phase. But how it is degraded? So there are complexes known as anaphase promoting complexes, which works like ubiquitin ligase. So they put ubiquitin marks on the cyclin B and as a result, the proteasome degrades the cyclin B into pieces. And that's why at, at cyclin B CDK1 activity is restricted to the M phase of the cell cycle only. Now, we should be asking that what cyclin B and CDK1 is important for? What are their jobs? One of the most important job at the M phase is to condense the chromatin because chromatin need to be condensed in order to be packaged in a proper metaphase chromosome. And the condensation can only start when several condensing proteins, some structural maintenance protein like condensin, cohesin, etc. can bind to the chromosomes and the chromosome became more compact. So that is triggered by phosphorylation by this complex C cyclin B and CDK1. Another important aspect in the prof prophase is the nuclear envelope breakdown. Nuclear envelope is broken down when the basic skeleton which is made up of lamin is phosphorylated by cyclin B and CDK1. As a result, the nuclear envelope is breaking down. Otherwise, fragmentation of the Golgi apparatus spindle formation, all these things are also regulated by cyclin B and CDK1 activity. Now, in the prophase, the cell condensation is triggered by cyclin B and CDK1 and also the nuclear uh, lamin breakdown is triggered by cyclin B CDK1 phosphorylation. And as a result, the nuclear envelope is gone now and the events of the M phase could be triggered. The most important part that the most important role that cyclin B CDK1 plays is making sure that the microtubules from the opposite poles are properly attached to the kinetic re region of these uh, metaphase chromosomes. If the tension is not equal on the both side, then it generates an error signal like depicted here. Now, before we look at how this error signal is detected, we should look at what happens normally. Normally, when cell goes from metaphase to anaphase, what happens is 
there are important complexes known as separin. As their name suggests, they break the cohesin rings, setting the metaphase chromosome free. And the equal tension from the two sides separates the metaphase chromosome and dynamic instability of the microtubule pulls the chromosome towards its pole. But when the tension from the other either side of the poles are uneven, and the microtubules are not properly attached to the kinetical region of the chromosome, then that error signal is detected by a protein known as MAD2, which inhibits cyclin B and CDK1 complex. And as a result, separin cannot break down the cohesin rings, as if some, th some internal signal is telling the cell to stay back in this M phase and try to correct its error, and then it can again attempt a division. So that is how M phase cyclines are so important in equal segregation of genetic material into the two daughter nuclei. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.